talk about Jim How pens today. They're about um, five dollars. So there are adjustments you can make to them. So we'll talk about that too. I bought the 450s. They came in a pack of four, I think, for twenty dollars, and I bought seven fifties. Oh, and these came in also a pack of four for twenty dollars. I, I couldn't get the feet out, so I didn't um, do anything with these. Now for these, I have one that I left alone. So this is the nib that comes with it. Did you get that same cartridge in. All right, now these ones I modified. Let's write with our 750. Very wet. Same thing with the other one. Line variation if you're pressing down. This is what it looks like. That's not flex though. The pen itself is a little heavy. I would say that the tip is a medium. I don't know if you can get it in different sizes. It says 18 karat, but um, <laughs> I, I, I don't think that's true. For $5, I'm pretty sure it's not. I don't know why it says that <laughs> on the nib. It's medium, it's really wet. All right, now let's take a look at the gin house that we've modified. Like a little bit of water to get fountain pens started sometimes. It's, it's a little like writing with a straight holder. Uh, now what you're, what you 
you'd like is for that ink to continuously flow. It kind of doesn't. And this might just be me. Maybe other people um, get it to work better. It wasn't as great as I thought it would be, but it's okay. I still like having it. See, here we go. See, it's still. And of course, you're gonna, you've got all the flex that you have that uh, Nico G gives you, which is a ton. Look at that. See, there it goes working. So, would I do it again? Absolutely. I keep it. I keep it on deck. Let's take a look at the other one, the lettered principal. That's what I have to ask myself, is it really much easier than using a dip pen? I don't know. But it's it's different and uh, I don't know. I don't know if I would do this one again. I don't know if I would do it again, like once these are dulled out, these are not designed to last very long. The ink doesn't seem to be flowing. This is my favorite Jin Hao modification. This nib is from Fountain Pen Revolution. They have this size and they have a smaller size. I have both of them. 
the smaller size I bought from Fountain Pen Revolution with the pen. Uh, this big size on its own was $20 and it's, it's a flex nib and the small one is also a flex nib and with a pen it was I paid I think less than $20 for it and they both write pretty much the same but I knew I had these Jin Hao pens and I just wanted the nib because I wanted to put it in the Jin Hao pen Nicely, like you, I don't have to like the other ones. I've got to fuss with them a bit. This one does not require any of that. For the most, This little guy is great, this nib. Um, yep, it's got flex. Um, and it's not just line variation. This is this is really flex. Like it's gonna use like I'm not applying pressure. Light hand. Right with a normal. You're gonna have in. And that is really all I have to say about the the Jin Hao pens. Uh, just to recap, so in my experience, the 750s, I don't know if I got a bad batch, but I could not get this the feed out, so it wasn't good for um, making modifications. Uh, but if you do want to do modifications, at least in my experience, the 450s worked better for that because the feed came out very easily. If you like the style of the pen, I don't know if it's plastic or what. It feels like it feels like metal to me. I don't know what it is. As far as the modifications are concerned, uh, I like the pen itself with no modification at all. I don't see any difference in the way the 750 writes and the 450. Okay. And these, I am not going to put another letter principle in there. Um, I didn't use a shimmer ink on these guys. I didn't want to introduce anything that might stick in the feed. The um, Nico G, I will use that again. I kind of like having it as an option because it is a nice pen holder. I've got all kinds of pen holders. I mean, you know, nib holders but not one like this yeah, so that's all for today thank you thank you for watching i hope you learned something i hope you can take these tips and uh, apply it to your decision making okay. have a have a great uh, rest of your day or rest of your evening